The Global Dialogue is a business-to-business -business platform to advance a unified framework for interoperable seafood traceability, specifically focusing on addressing and mitigating illegal, unregulated, and unreported fishing. To achieve the GDST standard, we performed end-to-end -end traceability pilots. This is a way for us to evaluate supply chains, interrogate the uh, identification, data sharing, and other technological questions necessary to promulgating a standard that works for realistic seafood scenarios. In this video, we're going to show you how we accomplish that with our seafood member, Thai Union. To accomplish the goals of the Global Dialogue, we needed to know a particular information about where the seafood is caught, how was it caught, when was it caught, and where did it go. Being able to capture these data elements related to this are core to being able to ascertain the seafood was caught in a legal and a compliant manner, and that we have the information to be able to enable data-driven ways of mitigating overfishing. Looking at this supply chain that we work with Thai Union, we went from wild-caught tuna harvest all the way to through primary processing, secondary processing, and shipping out to the retailer. In this example, we worked with a, a familiar brand of canned tuna and really understood what were, how this data on, on tuna is captured and how is it conveyed throughout its supply chain. So in doing so, we identified the pertinent traceability events and then mapped it to the GDST key data elements that needed to be collected. So here's an example of what the identifiers uh, are, were used in this pilot. When, after uh, primary processing, Thai Union uses uh, GS1 methods of logistical unit identification to track shipments, track batch lots, and to ensure traceability. Upstream, when tuna is caught by the vessels, those data elements are captured differently. They use a internal identifier at pairing to a, a URL, and, or they use a UUID to globally uniquely identify the particular batch lot. By doing this pilot, we were able to facilitate a way of conveying this traceability information so that it can be readily received and understood in a reproducible manner by their supply chain partners. Here we show what the overall process looked like. We collected the historical data that Thai Union captures for already in their internal systems. We structured that data in accordance to the GDST standard. That is both the key data elements that are required in the basic universal list and also housing them in a machine readable format, which in this is EPCIS XML. EPCIS stands for Electronic Prod Code Information Systems and it's a special type of XML that encodes logistics information. After doing that encoding, we tested the interoperability of this file format with a variety of solution providers. This is a way of conveying traceability information in such a way that it can be easily integrated in any type of digital traceability system. In doing so, companies may have common expectations and common rules of the road when they are working with their supply chain partners. In doing so, traceability solutions will be competing on usability and value-added features rather than on proprietary data formats or, or market share. By promulgating a standard and seafood traceability that is rooted in the data elements required to ascertain the legality of seafood catch and ha having a primary focus on interoperability between disparate information systems, we can enable a system-wide change towards greater transparency and the ability for all segments of the supply chain and the seafood industry to resolve inefficiencies and better maintain the health of our oceans. Thank you.